We're going to the shape. Shapeless shape pulses. There are four of them. Very confusing, I think. One is dispersing, second scatter, number three is greasy, and number four stagnating. Also known, sometimes Jimmy will say, you are so dirty. He's talking about your blood, okay? Actually, <laughs> actually this, oh, muddy. this two are not supposed to be here. Greasy but, and stagnating? Yeah, but, but let's get, get on with the first two. First two okay. is, the first two actually are identical. Let me show you what, what it means, so that the shapeless. Okay, we have models, everybody. We have the veins here on the back of the palm. You can feel that. Can you feel the shape? Yeah, if you feel your vein, you can't really feel the border, Yeah, this right? is because it's too weak like to feel one. the boundaries, the shape. I mean, the, the, yeah. So this is what we call dispersing or, or like a shapeless, whatever. If the pulse appears on here, that means something. This is just a model for us to feel. But it's on the mostly it's on the chun, so it's scattered, it's disappeared. That like the your energy just vanish in the thin air. So in that case, there's no energy, no chi, and vulnerable. You're you're defendless. Your body can be invaded by bacteria or virus easily. That's a very weak condition. No, no good. But this shape, shapeless dispersing pulse can be anywhere. Or can be. Anywhere, that means that part the bo your body is empty. So sometimes I'll tell, I'll tell the patient, hey, hey, your liver is empty. The patient says, why? What do you mean empty? Empty means no power, like the gas tank is empty. It's so easy. You need energy, you need protein. On the right turn, that, that sometimes it's the dead blood, but not necessarily dead blood. If it's really shapeless, that's pure weakness. Because there's no shape. Like I said, we do it reversely and mechanically. We, we have to make a shape out of it. So how do we do that? We bring it back. Let me say it again, huh? This is not the time for astringent combo. When this reverse, I mean, when it's depersed, I mean, when it's scattered and weak, and shapeless, that's the time we bring it back by using sour energy toner, like weights. And, and the most commonly understandable formula is semizan. That's the best thing to create the pulse, because the pulse is gone. We have an artery here that's supposed to be a pulse to be felt by us, but there wasn't any feeding. So we create pulse for the patient by using sen mai san. Sen means grow, mai means pause. So easy to understand. So your sen mai san actually is major, major ingredients of weights to bring the qi, blood, back. Weights is also an astringent, but it's not like uh, anti-inflammatory astringent, not like our astringent combo. It's for the energy. Salty. It's not salty. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, consolidating. Yeah. That's good. Sen mai san. Sen, remember, sen means regenerate, to grow, to build or something. Mai means pause. So whenever there's no pause, we build a pause for her, for him. We use sen mai san a lot. Can you use zen zen? Can you use the, 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 the king of the medicine is jin shen, right? Korean ginseng, can we use Korean ginseng? Or American, I don't know, white ginseng is useless. Huh? Can we, because he's so weak and so tired, can we use ginseng? Yeah. yeah. How do ginseng works? You don't know the, mecha the mechanism? How do it work? Yeah, stomach chi. And, and to send gin to produce gin. Two means the stomach because ginseng is red. So it get more energy in there, but it only can produce the chi, but it cannot gather the chi. So you must plus some weights and san zhu yu. That that's the only thing we can we can use. We have to produce chi. We have to hold it, okay. So weights plus ginseng is very good for those 
exhausted people after big surgery, after being, after having some uh, emotional attacks or so all those things. Everything got dispersed. We bring it back with weights and ginger. Or just simply semiza. Okay? That's the treatment principle for dispersing, dispersing and very weak pulse. And this guy should have some combined with very, very low blood pressure. That's the only way. Well, the, the theory is simple, right? Huh? What? Allergy? Yeah, do it too. Don't mind the symptoms. When they have enough chi, they will be able to fight against the allergy. In this case, if this, this patient is showing some symptoms of allergy, runny nose and sneezing and everything, because this chi is gone, so his nose is empty, like a defense line is empty. The enemy can invade his country easily without any defense. So we put in something to, put, to help his body to put more blood more lympho circulation, more red blood cell, white blood cell to the nose to fight against outside allergy, like a, a, like a fungus or whatever. In this case, you should touch his, his cheeks and the nose and somewhere here. Is it cold or warm or something? If it's freezing cold, don't hesitate to use this. If it's too hot, Condition is hot, and when it's weak, you can use some astringent for that to clear the fire with. So, so, so what I'm saying, next time you are treating the patient with a, with a major concern is the uh, nasal allergy or something, you have to feel the face, the temperature of the face, temperature of the nose, temperature of the ren uh, zhong, and here, and here. And majorly it's the nose itself. If the nose is, is cold, use some warm medicine. If nose is hot, use some cold medicine. That's very simple, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is astringent supposed to be hot or warm? I mean, cold. Cool. It's very simple. I mean, no, neutral. I mean, I mean, astringent is a cold medicine, very cold. Heat clearing. How is one? Scatter pulse is weaker than dispersing pulse. It's actually some kind of similar stuff. Do you want to call it the same? Yeah. I don't see much difference between it. So today's definition of scatter and dispersing can be used interchangeably. Yep. So when he talks about one, he means that basically shapeless. there's no shape and it's scattered. Okay, good. Then greasy. Here we go. This oh, one this, is this is this is very difficult to describe it, but it can be easily learned because I'm sure 90% of patients has cholesterol problem. Everybody on the street has cholesterol problem, so that's easy to learn. So first time, I mean, <laughs> tomorrow morning, the first patient sit in front of you, you check his pulse. Already know this guy is suffering from a. Uh, taking a lipidor or, or having a blood pressure problem, then you, then you automatically know, know his blood cholesterol, blood that this must be high, and you check it. Then you, once you find it, you got a feeling you never forget. The next patient, you'll be able to tell them, "Hey, you're greasy, mucho cholesterol." Hmm. Sometimes, sometimes. They have, uh, I, have, I check a, a young boy, like four years old or something, from San Francisco. I told his parent that, that the boy is very greasy, a cholesterol or something. And then, you know what the parents say? He liked to eat the chicken skin a lot. The skin is, has more cholesterol than meat. And fried skin, I mean, fried chicken. So he, he, the little boy is so fond of a chicken skin. So definitely his cholesterol is high. So it happens. And now I, I was with a, a macho guy yesterday. He's strong and uh, something. I said, hey, come on, you're so greasy. He's a, he's a runner and uh, very, very hard exercise. 
He said, I eat five eggs a day. Is that right? It's not. There's a guy in Taiwan he, he's doing the same thing and the cholesterol went to, I mean, triglycerides, 2,000. And this guy must be, he, he's crazy too because it's their eating habits. But anyway, I'm, what I'm saying is that the point is that you can easily hide cholesterol pulls from your patients. 90% of them has the problem. But anyway, having cholesterol is not such a big deal unless it turns into a hardening vessel. Until the, the pulse feel too hard, then you take the blood pressure, the blood pressure is high, then, well, the condition is so sure. So how do we get rid of the cholesterol? <laughs> oh, this is the circulation, this, this, we don't, you know, it depends on the living condition and constitutional condition. The medicine will help some, but not very much. So, greasy, you can tell, and they have blood pressure problem, we can at least cleanse their cleaning, their, by cleaning their, their liver to get rid of the, the cholesterol. But it's very difficult. They have to, to live a very strict life without eating all those sugars and something. Huh? How do we define a stagnation, stagnating pulse, dirty? How do we how, what, what time do I use the word dirty and muddy? Muddy stuff, a whole bunch of mud. Mud don't move, right? Mud don't jump. So, whenever the pulse is deep and not moving, let's say easy. The pulse is not moving, not jumping. I will tell them, hey, your blood is dirty. And uh, like mud, muddy. Actually, you can tell by looking at the uh, this area. If it shows darkness or something, then you can tell this is dirty, the blood is dirty. Especially in here, in the, 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 the elbow area. It is dark and dirty, and that is dirty. What is dirty? The blood? The blood is dirty. Blood inside is dirty, so it doesn't give you any light under it. So, what I'm saying is it's just just like greasy, nothing too too uh, too much to uh, to worry about. Just dirty. How do we do deal with the dirty blood? It's a big task. You have to eat less, live a strict life, no sugar, lot of exercise. Okay, summary of the shapeless shape pulses is the key point is it's shapeless and you can't feel the borders. And this is how Bob described it to me. It's like wiggling jello. That's how it feels like. So I think it's difficult to feel the fine differences between, between all those four that we just described above. So if you find something that's shapeless and it doesn't feel like anything is there, nothing is really there, there's no clear definition, but yet you still see a jump and there is kind of low in amplitude then you probably found one of those four shapeless pulses. And essentially, you're dealing with the same, same thing, high viscosity of the blood, either due to cholesterol or whatever else that shouldn't be there. So the strategy is to move blood or get rid of the damp or whatever it is that you should do. So astringent combo, circulation, Sanjiao? Yeah, something like General that. General guideline, that's the direction to go. 